Hey guys, it's Carrie here with NotSoSkinnyMom.com. I am so excited to be interviewing Ease Show botched host and renowned plastic surgeon, Dr. Paul Nassif. Hello. How are you doing, Carrie? I'm so excited. This is this is really a mom's in her 40s equivalent of like talking to Justin Bieber. Mm. You understand that? A plastic surgeon, it's so exciting. Like talking to... Hold on, so you're comparing me to Justin Bieber? You, I like that. You are my Justin Bieber. Really? Yes. I don't think I've ever, that's a new one for me. Well, you are mine. So, now, remember, it's interesting, my background is Lebanese. Oh. And and you said Nassif. Did I say it wrong? No, actually in Europe, and in Lebanon, yeah. that's exactly how you say it. Thank you. Here, I could probably go a little simpler, i say Nassif. Really? Yeah. Oh, do you want me to do it again? Yeah, actually, yeah. I kind of like that. Okay, it's good. I'm, I'm feeling this, like I'm in the know. This is kind of cool. Okay, good. So, um, I know you're doing, you, you're scheduled for surgeries today. Yeah, right after you and I are done, I'm doing a, a fourth revision rhinoplasty and a oh, brow lift. I want a brow lift. That's so exciting to me. All right, so I want to know, because I know you do And a you don't need one. You got beautiful eyes, nice eye brows. No, I had to pencil them in. No, no, but, they're, but the yellow, they're, where they're at, are still very nice. Oh, thank you. Oh, yeah, is this a consultation? Because I'll take it. No, you else? look fantastic, darling. Okay, thank you. Um, so tell me, is there any plastic surgeries you've done where you wanted to throw up? Because I see what you do. I saw the show. There was one with a third nipple, and nobody flinched. You were like, oh, yeah, it's a third nipple. And you start, and you played with it a little bit. I was like, oh, oh. Well, I know that was me playing with it, because remember, I would be face. I know. Oh. I think uh, I think Dr. Dubrow was playing a little bit with it. Uh, but no, the answer is no. We, we, we just see more and more different things that we've never seen before in our practice. Mm -hmm. So we're surprised um, at some of the issues or complications or just especially like right now we're filming Botched by Nature. Oh. And Botched by Nature, we're going to people's homes in different parts of the other country. And we're going to other homes. Um, and pretty much really getting to know what's going on with them. They're born with deformities. Oh, that's amazing. Right from trauma, something like that. So, And some of the things that we're seeing, and we try to help. Okay. You know, that, that, that's actually the new show we're filming right now, in addition to Botch. Is there a procedure you'd like to do, but the technology isn't there yet? No. No? I mean, the point is, is everything we do now, I mean, it just keeps getting better and better with time. Okay. We learn new techniques, and you keep learning no matter how long you do. All right, so I'm in my 40s, and 42. I'm not going to make it too old. And what do you think is the most important thing that we need to do? Because we're no longer in the prevention stage. We're like in the trenches. You mean on a surgical procedure? I'm or, saying or a combination skin. of surgical and non-invasive stuff. Well, I don't have a I don't have a big budget for a lot of surgery. Well, I mean, for I mean, there's numerous things. If you don't want to have surgery, mm -hmm. keeping up your skin is the best thing you can do. With. There's, micro, there's a, a, a blood facial microneedling. Oh, yeah. The rich plasma. Is uh, that good? Oh, yeah. That's fantastic. That's going great for your skin. I think you'd probably do it three times, maybe every six weeks apart. You do that once a year. I mean, that's, that's fantastic. That actually stimulates your collagen. Then the platelet rich plasma also helps you uh, with that. Uh, that, obviously, you know, still with the Botox or Dysport and fillers are always great things to do. Good skincare is always important. Yeah, and uh, that's uh, why. Yeah, got my good old skincare line. Yeah, why do you, now? Why did you think you wanted to do this? Because I know well, you're booming with your own business. I've had the skincare line now for a few weeks. I love it. The reason why I did this is because I've been thinking about skin for such a long time. These are a biorhythmic skincare line, and basically during the day, what it does, it goes into a complete protection mode and nourishes because that's okay. what it fits with all the outside uh, from the oxidation. And there's something called lipo shield in there, which blocks something called high energy visible light. So when you're on the computer all day long, yeah. there's, there's aging rays in the computers and iPads and tablets. Then at night, there's this incredible active ingredient. It's also called astaxanthin, roxazones, um, matrixyl synthate 6. And these are things that go into the complete repair mode while you're sleeping, just like your body does. That's yeah. why the whole biorhythms does protection during the day, repair at night. And then we have a new line coming out to add to this. It smells a good. That's moisturizer, a mask, a decollete cream, an eye cream, a cleanser. Oh, good. There's an exfoliant you already have right now. There's detox packs. 
So that's the second line coming out. Yeah, where can we get this, by the way? NASABMDSkincare.com. Or Nassif, as I like to call it. Exactly. NASABMDSkincare.com. <laughs> or Nassif, as I like to call it. Or Nassif. Okay, I have, uh, I've got some questions here. Um, sure. I, my mom network blew up when they knew I was talking to you. It was very exciting. Oh. So I only could pick a few questions because we're limited on time, but I don't want to not get to it. Go for it. The most important question we had is Ashley from Long Island wants to know if you're single. Oh, I am single. I do date, but I am single because I'm working my butt off. How yeah. do you date women? Because, That's in fact, question. I would think it opens up the dating pool because if someone's got a jacked up face, you can fix it. Am I wrong? You could just fix if you like someone's personality. Oh you can put a yeah. boob here and put a new nose on and she's beautiful. Yeah, hopefully I'm not going to. Hopefully I'll like the person the way they are. No, that's not possible. You wouldn't be in business. Well, not someone I date. Listen, uh, we all need a little fixing up once in a while. A little her eyes done, yeah. a little nose. You know, that all happens no matter who it is, whether it's your wife, your girlfriend, whatever. Well, you talked about the nose. So I did have three surgeries, right? And I now I have a deviated septum. I have sleep apnea. I'm a hot mess. So I've got to get a revision. But a lot of plastic surgeons, I haven't been back to Norman yet, but they all go, I'm not touching it. I'm not going to be the fourth guy in there because of scar tissue. I'm not going there. Is that, what is this scar tissue has a memory business I keep hearing? I mean, I do revisions up to eighth, ninth, tenth surgery. So that doesn't, I mean, there's scar tissue, but you know, you just have to know what you're doing. I mean, you know, it's not going to tell you what's good. Okay. And, and, um, you know, your tip, you know, Norman did a great job in your tip. He's talented. You're, you're, and regarding your breathing, you might be collapsing somewhere. And that's why you probably need to be evaluated again. You may, you may need to have cartilage added against your nose to open up your airway. But <clears throat> the sleep apnea, that usually has to be with this, back in the throat. I was told I have a very fat tongue. Yeah, so you they, they, see they, my do, fat they tongue? do, and that's a heavy, intense surgery as it is. Then you have to wear the CPAP machine. Unless you have the surgery, especially on the tongue, it's very intense. Okay, here's my uh, Eileen from Ohio. Uh, she wants to know if you're having sinus surgery. How much would it be involved to sneak in a nose job? Come on. You can do it. You we can. Do that. Okay. I have a doctor come and do sinuses sometimes before they nose. Perfect. Same surgery. Tracy in Bloomfield, New Jersey, she wants to know, are there any non-surgical options to tightening or lifting the turkey neck? I think I have a little bit of the turkey neck. You know, the new one that um, we have is the uh, uh, the cool sculpting machines. Um, oh, yeah. You know, the mini, um, you know, they have a mini neck device. Um and that is something that for the fatty tissue, you can put right here, and it gets away 20% initially, and then you can do it again. And I think you can do it twice, and you get about a good 40 50% total improvement. Wow. So it's called a cool mini. Okay. Cool sculpting devices. Okay, cool mini. All right. And I actually have some people in France that are a fan of yours and my wow. product. Um, Allison from France wants to know can people with sensitive skin get Botox? Yes. Yes. And most of the time, yes. It's most more of the skincare regimens. The sensing skin needs to be careful about. Okay. One last question is, uh, can you, when you're in the store or you're on the street and you see people that are just crazy looking, how do you turn it off? I think I would like set up a stand on Santa Monica Boulevard and just start giving out free nose jobs and everything else. I tell you what, because there's, you know, you kind of, when you leave the office, you kind of become immune to it and you don't sit and stare at everybody. Okay. Unless someone has something so abnormal or unusual, then you may. Okay. In general, I don't do it. You just don't do it. I mean, you know, maybe somebody has some huge, weird nose yeah. or a very, very pinched, overdone nose. Yeah, you say, oh, my God, they can use my help. That can happen. Or a horribly pulled, you know, facelift. Okay. Yeah, or that's frozen. Cool. Yeah. You see that a lot. Yeah. And and that's, that, that does happen. We do see that. You do, right? You can't mm -hmm. fix it. Yeah, you can, sure. Okay. So uh, I do have one more. I'm sorry. Um, I just want to know, in Hollywood, who would you say has, like, the perfect face? I mean, somebody from Megan Fox, Angelina oh, Jolie, yeah. even Scarlett Johansson has some gorgeous features on her face. Um, some of these, um, the other young lady who was in, um, God, what was she in? Um, the Wolf of Wall Street, the beautiful blonde lady. Oh, yeah, I, she's, like, South African, isn't she? I don't I No, don't, no, I, I don't think she is. I mean, the, um, the wife... Yeah, she's beautiful. One who, the one with the mouth on her. I forgot her name. Yeah. Uh, she, she, she's beautiful. There's a lot of these beautiful. 
Well, don't you think the lip fillers got a little out of control? Well, it has, and now it's gotten a little better. People aren't going as crazy right now. Yeah, that's better. And the moon cheeks got out of control? Exactly. But now, everything now is coming down. Okay, good. Everything is. Well, I'm so excited to talk to you today. I know you've got a lot of surgeries. Well, I can and talk just, that was that little text you heard a second ago saying, I know. <laughs> come inject the patient. So I'm doing a little brow lift, a little nose, and I'm going to do that after starting my morning off right by talking in. And no, I know. they're going to look like that. What did you say? They're, they're going to look like, like that, this? I'm going to ruin them. What needs to be done God. with her nose? What's wrong with her nose? She, just, just, she can't breathe. There's some deformities up in this. All so. right. Well, I God bless. I hope it goes well. And I'm... We're really excited about this. We can't Thank wait you. for the new line. I adore you. I love you. Even though I never met you until today, I love you. You're a friend in my mind. You're very sweet, and I look forward to seeing you again and doing this again. Yeah, that'd be great. Thanks so much. Listen, you take care. Thank you. Thank you for having me on. Okay, we'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.